Okay, so here's my uh, 6.5 liter turbo block. Um, just cleaning out the sludge out of the coolant passages. Obviously, the previous owner used uh, just straight water or water with lots of mineral deposits in it. With really heavy scale. Um, obviously, I'm not hot taking the block. Even so, that doesn't always remove it. You'd actually have to pickle the tank. So, if you were still hot taking it, this might not be a bad idea to try something like this as well. Um, save you some money if you're willing to spend a little bit of time. So I took just a, uh, you know, round file sort of thing, or I mean, use an ice pick or whatever, and just worked my way through most of the, the cooling passages. I scraped any of the big chunks away first, and then just blew it out with some compressed air. The next thing I did was uh, utilize the engine block heater and plug that in. Well, first I poured uh, this mixture in here, and then then I plugged it in. So I'm, I'm using this stuff here, uh, one per side, uh, Prestone Flush Rinse Radiator. Um, and I mixed it in with some uh, Performance Radiator 50-50 Premix Antifreeze, so that it doesn't uh, flash rust it. But basically poured it full. Uh, you want to leave, you know, a little bit down like a half an inch or so because once it starts to boil it's gonna you don't want it to overfill the top and before I did all that I took an oiled rag, soaked rag and oiled the cylinders and the top here of the deck of the motor in case I splash some water on there that way it won't flash rust and after this is all done I'm gonna pressure wash the motor but uh, I just wanted to loosen it up because I mean it was real bad I didn't want it to plug my rad right off the bat or give me grief right so the other side I already did and uh, anything that was rust is sort of turned to a, more of a, a brown paste, which I'll flush out with some water. I'm sure you can't really see in there. The tops, are, the rings here are a little bit rusty because I didn't quite get it right to the top. But I mean, after I got the motor running, I'm going to do this flush. You said you can use the flush with it with the motor running, but I just wanted to kind of get a hand on things. Um, and I added a second uh, block heater on this side out of a scrap block, which is leaking. Um, but they're cheap enough and it doesn't hurt to have one on either side of the block that you could just buy a new one and leave it in there permanently and that's probably what I will do or I'll buy just a new freeze plug and stick that in there. The only other thing you have to do, uh, especially the motor is completely assembled, is just make a couple of block off plates here and here where the uh, water pump coolant passages would be and it's just a flat piece of some thin galvanized metal with a couple of holes drilled in it, a couple of bolts and some nuts and spacers because my bolts weren't short, short enough some black RTV uh, gasket maker between there, let it set up for a few minutes. Mine aren't leaking there at all. And then I, obviously I'm using the uh, engine stand to set the bank up pretty close to level. And you can actually hear it boiling the water a little bit or while heating it. And that hotness certainly it actually helps agitate it a little bit. You can see the water turning around and it gets pretty hot to touch. I wouldn't leave it on there for too long, maybe uh, 45 minutes to an hour max, and then just unplug it and let it cool down. And if you're going to pressure wash it afterwards, make sure that uh, the block is cooled down. You don't want to crack it, so just let it cool down up to room temperature before you start pressure washing it. Alright, well that's it. One more step closer to getting her back ready to go. Cylinders are all ball honed out, they don't look too bad, a couple little pitting here and there, but for the most part I'm happy with the ball home, so that's it for now.